going to be rotating the tires of the 2010 Honda CRV. These are non-directional tires. So what that means is that you can actually put this tire anywhere around the vehicle. And they, there's not going to be any traction issues or anywhere issues. So now in this case, um, because these are non-directional, the way that you rotate these tires for, uh, for this vehicle specifically, it could be for any vehicle, is you take this rear tire right here and you're gonna transfer over to the front right over there so this is the rear left it goes to the front right and the front right that you remove from there has to go to the rear right on the other side the rear right over here is going to be removed then and that one is going to have to go to the front left and then that front left that we remove comes back to the rear left so that's basically how we're doing this rotation if you look at it in a diagram all, all it is is just moving the front wheels directly back and the back wheels across from where they're where they are to the front so the way you do this in the 2010 Honda CRV is that you gotta find the jack point so I have a jack point here this is basically if you look at the vehicle back here it has almost like a small let me see if I can lower this You can see there's a small thick metal right here that's one of the jack points you can see two holes on it so you can jack the vehicle from there if you come to the front uh, there's another jack point right here and you can see the two holes right under it so the idea is that we're gonna have to jack this vehicle right from here from when we do that and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to do all four wheels on the air so let's see let's see how it's gonna work now you see the wheels are still touching on the ground this is slightly supported by the by this jack. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start. I I already loosened up all the lug nuts, but at this point it's a good idea to loosen them up because once the wheels are on the air, it should, it should you it's gonna be very difficult to remove those lug nuts. So if I was you, I go around and start loosening up all the lug nuts from the wheels. All we gotta do is probably do one, maybe one and a half turns on the lug nut. And that should be enough. As you can tell, you see the wheels are above the ground now. So from, from the rear. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to race, race it as high as I can. So I can put the, the jack stands. Um, just in case, because when you raise the front, the, the rear is going to lower. I think that looks good enough now next is that you want to put the jack stand where they need to go so if you look under the car it's a thick metal right here see this thick metal is actually meant so for you to put the jack stands on it so I'm gonna put my jack stand all the way up until you're right under that it doesn't have to touch, as you can tell, because eventually when the vehicle gets lower, it's gonna, it's gonna be making contact here. But the idea is it has to be right under that. And then the Jackson, what I usually like to put is I like to put a piece of wood, a very thick piece of wood down here, to protect the ground. This, the bottom of the Jackson, they usually eat, uh, go, eat they, they sink right into this uh, your ground. You don't want to mess up your ground, so 
instead of um, doing that you just put a piece of wood on the bottom and protects it let's go to the other side and see what we're going to do with the other jack again the, the other jack stand same thing you got to find that, that piece of metal right here this thick piece of metal and um, I'm just going to move that jack stand right under it and there it is that's done and again it's right on top of that wood um, oh, the other thing is remember I already loosened up all the log nuts you want to loosen them up before you take the, pull this up because then what's going to happen is you're not going to be able to remove them it might be very difficult to remove them alright so let's go to the front now actually before we get to the front I'm going to, I'm going to show you um, how I uh, lower this just in case um, so this go you got to lower this very slowly slowly see the jack is coming down very slow it's kind of like the idea you want to you want to make sure the car comes down slowly just in case something is not even or the car starts tilting to one side at least you have the ability to like stop it right there before it gets any worse all right so now we can take this to the front and um, and take care of the front side. In case you did not notice, I always put up uh, like pieces of plywood or wood on the bottom of everything, especially this because sometimes the wheels right here, these wheels they sink into the ground too. And you don't want to have uh, wheel marks on the on the ground. So now again the jack point is the front. So the jack point for the front is basically right here. It's very close to the front. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm trying to push from up here again you can tell because also there's like two holes here on the bottom I don't know if you can see let me see yeah right here you see it's a hole right here another hole right there so this is a strong metal right here so this is where we're gonna jack it up from let's see if I can get that straight again this is the, this is the front of a vehicle should be a little right So as you can tell, the wheels are above the air now. They're above the air, they're on the air. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the jack stands in the front now. So something here, you gotta find the thick metal right up here. So again, we put the jack jack stand right, raise it up, and that should do it. And in this case, I'm putting this here. I didn't have enough wood, so I ended up using this. This is a very thick uh, type of uh, plastic, so this should be good enough to hold it. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I gotta put that, that jack over there. So here you go. See, as you can tell, the bottom of the jack stand is very close to the edge, so I'm gonna try to push it. A little bit further in, come back, readjust, and um, that should do it right over the thick metal again. And jack stand is basically stable. Now, remember what I told you about the wheels when you raise the front, the rear end up coming down. See, the, the rear one is almost touching the ground, but still pretty, pretty good on this side. Over there, on the other hand, you can tell that it's actually touching. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm probably gonna have to go to the to the rear and raise that that uh, side up and be able to raise that wheel over there. Now we come to the wheels. We gotta make sure we take these lug nuts off. And I guess I don't have to bore you with this, but the idea is that you you remove every single lug nut now that all the wheels are on the air. And um, I'll come back to you right after this, okay? Alright, so now this is the rear, the right rear uh, wheel. As you can tell, I removed all the wheels already. What we gotta do now is just move the wheels to where they, wherever they need to go. So, while you're moving them, the best thing to do is to look at the wheel 
and look at the tire and see if there's any any nails in there like so well, this is just a little a little rock but if you keep looking just keep looking through the wheel and or the, or the tire you should be able to should be able to inspect it carefully and just look for those nails or screws and uh, if you have any uh, you're gonna have to see whether it's bad enough that you gotta you gotta get it patched up or if it's not that bad you can just remove it and just uh, um, and just re you reuse the wheel or the tire but it looks fine here there's no nails there's nothing on it so I'm just gonna go ahead and put it where it belongs remember this was the right rear I'm gonna put it on the the front left and uh, the front left of the vehicle is right over here so this is where this one is gonna go I'm gonna place it right against the car so I know that it's already that I already did this one and this this one the one that belongs to the to the left front this left front part this is gonna go directly back there to the back of the vehicle so I'm gonna move the left front while I'm moving it I'm, I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna be looking at the tire make sure there's no nails on it or any screws and as I'm looking at it there's nothing on this one either so that's good all I gotta do is just put it where it belongs so this one since it goes back here put it this one against the car also there you go so this is the the one that is in the back right now the back left this one is gonna have to go to the front right so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it move it to the front right well I'll do that again inspect the tire make sure there's no nails and no screws and so far so good well it looks good so taking it to the front right here we are on the front right uh, and now the, the wheel on the front right I'm gonna move it directly back to where I don't have a wheel because I moved that one that was the first one I moved so same thing just move it take the wheel turn it, turn it around and look around for any discrepancies um, and so far so good so this one is good so this is gonna go there so what I'm gonna do next I'm, I'm gonna put this this uh, wheels back on the vehicle while you're at this you can also inspect your brakes and uh, anything else you might want to should be checking when you're in here um, really today is not gonna be the day for brakes so anyway so but you always look for you always want to inspect the brake lines and make sure there's no, no issues on the brake lines um, you also you can also inspect the brake pads this looks fine um, you can also get a meter for the brake pad so you can just squeeze it in there and see if uh, that's the right uh, thickness if it's too thin then you can just uh, replace them if, well, if you're doing this one big um, one big tip for this you remember I was able when I was removing these tires I was able to remove it without even hitting them or anything a lot of people have their tires seized to the vehicle when, when the vehicles are very old uh, what you can do is you can get yourself anti-seize and uh, I believe this is copper anti-seize and uh, you just put it all, all over this area here and uh, when you put your rim in there the rim of your car uh, this will not get stuck and you can just remove every single time you pull that out it's easy very easy nothing gets stuck here it doesn't get rusted or anything together so that's a that's a good tip for when it comes to uh, putting your tires on your vehicle um, you can always find that in any auto uh, store so to put the tire back on um, you can do it any way you learn but the way I learned it is that uh, well I can't really show you because I, there's no way I can hold this phone and do it at the same time but generally you put you sit on the ground put the tires on, in between your legs or on, on top of your feet and with your feet you can raise them up and push them in but uh, there's no way I can show you that. I only have uh, I only have two hands, and so one of them will be on the phone. 
Anyways, I'm gonna put all this tires back on, and I'll I'll tell you about the torque specs for all the all the lug nuts. This is one thing that I like to do. I like to actually tighten them by hand as hard as you can. See the wheel adjusts itself as you tighten them. I do the same thing across in the star pattern. Even though you're not gonna tighten this very tight right now, you can use your your leg or your feet to push the wheel in. So that you can get more room for the lug nuts to tighten, see? So I'm just tying them a little bit until they touch the metal in the back. There you go. So now I'm going to start with the star pattern. Because I want this to be more or less even when I tie it. I want one side to be too, too in and uh, or uneven. So that's why you do this in a star pattern. Later on we actually torque this to the right specs um, which should be 81 foot pound of torque for the for this lug nuts um, you know, you'll be able to to do a star pattern again but that time is gonna be the final time so you see now that I tighten this you see that they loosen they get looser the more you tighten the, the the lug nuts so you gotta go around a few times again until every, everything is tight all right, so that's that's about it. That one, that that's how it's basically done for now. We're gonna have to put a little more strength on those lug nuts later, and we, and I usually like to do that with my uh, torque wrench. Um, so we're gonna go around and do the same thing through all the wheels. I'm not gonna show you that because it's kind of like boring. You already know what to do because they're all the same. And uh, when I start tightening all the bolts uh, to their specs, I'll uh, come back to you. All the wheels are hand tying as tight as I could. I could get them. Uh, they're all up the ground, so that's why um, it's kind of like a little bit difficult to tie them really tight, which is kind of good because we still gotta lower them to the ground and then torque them to the right specs. I put the torque wrench to 81 foot pound, which is a recommended torque for this lug nuts for the 2007-2010 uh, CRV. Uh, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna try to lower the car. So to do that, I gotta remove the the, the jack stands. So I take this off. I'm gonna do the same thing over there, and then I'm gonna lower the back of the car. I'm gonna lower this down so I can touch the ground a little bit, and then from there I'm gonna torque this two wheels, the two rear wheels, uh, and then I'll deal with the front later. So this is this second jack stand, it's out. So now I can go and uh, lower this. I'm gonna try to do it very, very gently. Look at the wheels, you see? The wheels are coming down slow. As you see, it's already touching the ground there. The other side already touched, so I'm gonna lock it there. See, I'm not putting all the pressure on the ground of the wheel, just enough so that it doesn't rotate when I'm tightening the, the lug nuts. Now that this is on the ground, I'm gonna come back here, use my wrench, torque wrench, and try to, try to tighten this in a star pattern again. See, that's it's tied already, 81 foot pound. That one is tied already. That one is tight. There we go. Last one, this one did not click earlier. That's done. So now what you do is you kind of like go around each one, make sure they're actually tight. This one, two, three, four, and five. So these are tied to the wash packs. So we gotta go around do the same thing on the other one. Now the wheel, same thing. See, they want this one that click. I'm gonna leave it there and do the next one. And then I click, so I gotta keep going around 
in our star pattern until see, that one is tight. That one is tight. So we go back again. Okay, there we go. We got this one done so we're gonna do the same for the other ones and I'm not gonna bore you with tanning all the lug nuts from here on what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna basically raise the front now I'm gonna lower it I'm gonna lower the rear all the way down I'm gonna raise the front a little bit take the jacks off jack stands off and lower it a little bit until it touches the ground do the same thing in the front so I guess you don't have to see the rest of it because this is all the same I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs, give it a thumbs up so at least I can keep posting more. Take care.